Oh hi, my name is Isaac, I am 15, I live in Los Santos, I'm the part of the MS-12 gang, I'm a upcoming hip hop star. You know, I walk the bit, connect, press play. Let's put my song. Sure here, Mom. Down.
surprise, surprise. Once again, success eludes them. No weapons, no trace of the wanted murderer. The special unit changes its strategy. Get off the street on the canal and go into the alleys. Somewhere out there, Digger and Tech Nine are on the move. Maybe pulling off the robbery right now. When they are backed in a corner by the police, that is when they would fire the police to, to escape. Evil waits for his two men in the South Glen headquarters. He isn't worried about the police. When we think about the police personally, the police, who the is the police? They're just men like we. them. They just abuse authority. I deal with authority the right way. Sop them mother. The four policemen park their car and walk into the district's narrow alleys. It's hard to see around every corner, and they're right in the middle of gang territory. They have many places to hide. Um, it can be intimidating because as you realize, there's not much space there to maneuver. And you cannot see behind these fences, behind the obstacles. But we have to be, we have to do it. So we just go with courage and hope that everything will be all right. Their main problem, no escape routes. McLeod wants to work out an alternative before the attack and sends in his youngest, and most experienced man. Clear? Then it starts. McLeod has two children, but when things get dangerous, he always goes first. One residence appears to be suspicious. At first, no trace of the wanted murderer. No weapons. Then suddenly, screaming. A resident calls for the cops. He seems confused. Again, nothing. It's not clear why the man behaved so conspicuously. After two and a half hours, the police leave the district unharmed, but with empty hands. No weapons. No arrest. We weren't able to pick up anybody today. We saw a man who looked like someone we wanted. When we checked him out, when we checked him out properly, we realized that it was not him. Yeah, so we really came up empty-handed, but our presence were effective. We had effective presence, and that says a lot. Prostitution is socially ostracized in Jamaica. It's all illegal, but still tolerated by authorities. According to aid organizations, approximately 19,000 women and men earn money by selling their bodies. Many of them in the tourist areas, including men who offer themselves to women from North America and Europe. Those who walk the streets in Kingston are at the most dangerous end of the business. Only the really desperate ones work here, like Selena. Her first customer, she gets into the car with him. Two hours later, Selena is back, 
Time for a short break. Take a breather. She still hasn't made much money. Hey, I'm okay. I just have one more work and I'm so fine. It's alright. This one is a nice one. Sometimes the girl I'm a boyfriend. So sometimes somebody. So, that's not nice. Um. Sometimes them have read like take all of the girls them and lock them up and so and them then them let you all back. But um it's not a regular basis. Like if them come around here and man rap girl and so on shot fire, them will come and do do read and the police checks may be a reaction to the murder of one of the prostitutes the day before. But for Selena it's a scary situation. What if the men in the car start to get confrontational and draw guns? When I get scared of the police, but if we see a man with it, we will get scared. Like yesterday, when a man shot her friend. Selena wanted to earn at least 20 euros today. That's two customers. But the sight of the men has upset her, reminding her of yesterday. She decides to go home with just 15 euros in her pocket, but still safe and alive. The next day, a new day in Mountain View, a district with its own laws and its own rules. Human life is worth less here than in other places. south end of the most notorious section of the city is a police station, a small post of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. It is the only station in this part of the city. Three policemen are on duty here today. In the waiting area, wanted posters announce successes in the war against the gangs. They say dead or captured. It's hard to imagine that the police in this station have anything to do with that. This is a inner city community, right? And you have like rival gangs. So you have Jeans from community there, you have Jeremy up there, you have Oliver Road around the corner, so we're right, right in the middle of garrisons. So you know you have young violence. What he and his colleague Georgie mean is that here the police have no allies and nobody talks. The new boy out there seeking information. Everyone is tight about basically everything. So, I mean, it's one of those areas to police that you never know what to expect when you go out there. And that is why they normally don't go in. Jamaica's police are understaffed, underpaid, and their resources are limited. Many officers are considered corrupt. Residents usually settle things among themselves. Mostly they only report domestic disturbances and traffic accidents. Things the gangs don't control. At your house over there. Because out there, apartment. others are in charge. In your apartment. Gun battles in Mountain View. Only worth a headline when there is murder. 63-year-old Pauline lives here. In area 63, not far from the border yeah, with South Korea. Cool, cool. Well, let's Are you having it? What's wrong with you? I will see you in the morning. And if you don't mind, get out of here. Christ.